Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to use the new release uh, paper collection. Let us know. This is the new uh, Christmas paper collection by Graphic 45. And I want to show you a little bit and quickly how gorgeous is this collection with this uh, color combination. It's just fantastic. I really love this Santa with the bear and the wolf and the bunnies and the i don't i don't know how to pronounce these uh, poniceras or i don't know in english but in spanish these are noche buenas and this is so so beautiful this is the back then we have this again with the flowers and look at this red is so so beautiful I really love it so much the classic colors here this green beautiful and all these uh, stamps perfect for car making or maybe in the project that I am going to show you now we can add some of these of course why not why not and look at this beautiful beautiful a holiday happiness is the name of this sheet and it's so pretty with all these uh, uh, birds and this is the back so beautiful also with the holy leaves there look at this look at this how gorgeous is this and the blue one on the back then we have this gorgeous and really useful uh, strips so so pretty I love this this so much and the back I love this green is so so pretty and these bears oh this is so cute I already cut fussy cut one of the bears for this project and look at this in the back it's so so beautiful and of course these uh, cards also fantastic really really wonderful and I want you to show you this look this Santa going through the chimney oh it's so beautiful I love it always graphic 45 made beautiful paper collections and Christmases are awesome well I'm going to use some of the 8x8 and the patterns on, on solids I already cut this one in this a little bit but let me show you quickly look at this blue is beautiful really oh my gosh i love these two patterns and in, in this color and the green i mean is beautiful also so so elegant really really elegant look at this so so pretty okay what i'm going to do I went to my local kind of uh, dollar store and I got this uh, frame. This is not glass. I want it to be glass, but well, it is not. It's just an acetate piece. I'm going to remove this and I already removed uh, three of these. Only using my tweezers, you pull them out, okay? Now, I'm going to make a shadow box with this because I want to add one of my favorite uh, Christmas uh, pictures. And you need to adapt it to the frame that you uh, find. Of course, this measure in the front eight and a quarter, no, eight and one eight by six and not a quarter is a little bit less six and three sixteenths something like that but i'm going to make a box in the inside so i'm going to tell you my measurements this is seven and one sixteen the long side and the short side is five and one eight so to make the interior box we will need two long pieces this is two millimeter chipboard and depending of the uh, chipboard you are going to use you will need of course uh, to adjust the measurements okay 
but this is two millimeters and these two pieces measure seven and one sixteenth by two and a half this uh, it's going to be the depth of my shadow box okay the interior we need two pieces and then two more pieces that measure four and seven eighths by two and a half for the short sides and to cover in the back we need this piece that measures seven and one sixteen by five and a quarter but i want to add a picture on in, in the inside of course so let me move this I already cut this rectangle and I will tell you how I took my measurements. Why it's not centered? Well, because of course I want to use this uh, from the signature uh, sheet and this is going to be here. I'm going to upcycle this. Uh, these are Tim Holtz uh, trees, but if you don't have this kind of trees, you can just cut a uh, fussy cut trees of the collection and add the volume on the back to hold it okay i'm going to upcycle two of these so i want to cut my uh, frame inside and i measure one and a half to mark here and then from here to here it's four and a half to make this line okay now from the top to the bottom i made a mark at one and at three and a half so i have this rectangle and now it is open all right now we need to prepare the papers that are going to mat all the inside and i already have those papers this i already showed you is from the patterns and solids so we need two pieces long pieces that measure eight and one sixteen by three now I tell you why. And two that measure four and seven eighths by three. In these two, I already make a mark at a half an inch. Okay, so this it's going to be like so. This is going to be the hinges to hold the back. Okay, in the sides and also on the top and bottom here we need two in the sides but also one that is going to be in here okay when we have this we will cover and this it's going to be a hinge to hold it uh, on place all right so we need these two pieces let me crease those lines and I cut already this piece of paper that is going to be here and this piece measure five and a quarter and seven by seven and one sixteen which is exactly the same size of this of course we will need to cut around what this measures but I am going to do that at the very end, okay? What I already made, it's centering this on place. I just took, let me center it, of course. I just took my pencil and I marked all around here. Because this is the last piece that I am going to glue here, because remember, we are going to hold it with the hinges of the paper but it's not going to be easy to open here so we can open right now we are going to do is start assembling these pieces
the idea is to put this inside here and we need to start checking it fits I'm going to cut a little bit this uh, side because I want this to have the whole room it needs but just be careful just cut a tiny tiny piece And this happens sometimes because the frames are not uh, completely in the square uh, way they should be. Okay, I like it more in this way, so I'm going to remove here. You can see here, it's almost nothing. It's just a tiny, tiny piece, okay? You can continue sticking this is here. Now I'm going to stick this piece here on the top but before I do that I just want to be sure this fits perfectly here inside and it is in the top in the front side okay the four sides oh my gosh why it is not why it's not hmm what happened here I know it's because I cut a little bit so no I'm going to put it align it on the top it's because I had to cut a little bit. But it's okay. We can remove it here. First, what I am going to use is secure this. I will try to cut it. Just, I am passing the knife a uh, without any pressure here I'm going to cut in the long sides I will cut in an angle this piece needs to fit here and then with my finger I just mark where it's going to be the other side and probably Probably this we need to cut. No, this is great, you see. Okay, so now what I am going to do, because I made my new mark here. I will remove a little bit here. pieces in both sides and at the very end we will add this but you can see here I need to cut a little bit more okay now I already uh, matted, matted all the inside and this piece is ready I have to tell you that I need uh, to trim a bit on all the four sides and what I recommend you is cut just the tiny pieces until and repeat it until you can fit exactly uh, inside so now it's time I am not adding the glue in these flaps yet and now we can Okay, and now before I add this here, because I have uh, uh, the acetate, I need to cover all this frame with the white gesso and with a sponge, 
I am just going to try to soften a little bit to light down the blue with the white hazel. Okay, I'm going to cover all the four sides also here. I choose this because it has a pattern here as the, the sweater or something like that and I like it for that reason but I don't want it in this color so I will try to do this technique the air dry uh, just to add a little bit of you can remove a little bit of course with a baby wipe it's easy to remove you think this is too much white you can always uh, remove it with the baby wipe I like it I really really okay, like it I use uh, three layers of the <coughs> white hair on sorry and now to give a little bit of color I'm going to use this a uh, blue gold uh, acrylic paint this is opal magic by Fina Bear and we don't need to use a lot actually I'm going to put here just a bit and then we will be using some water here and I think I'm going to use it in this way. We can add a little bit and then using the water that allows the, the paint to flow. Okay, now uh, this is already dried and I was uh, thinking how to start the decoration but before we do that I am going to add lights inside of course that's the idea why I am making two boxes this and the other one that is going to be aligned with this edge but uh, let me explain you before we add this we need to assemble the second uh, box because uh, these lights i've got it on uh, amazon and has 20 uh, tiny lights so if you have a different one uh, just make the holes wherever you think it's going to show better the picture and all the scene inside okay so for the outside uh, first we need to make this for the outside we need another uh, two long pieces this is seven and fifteen sixteenths by two and a half we need two of those too small that measure uh, six and a quarter by two and a half and one big for the back that measure this is which uh, measure eight and one eight by six and one uh, quarter and we need to open also another window and how are we going to calculate where is the window from the top to the bottom, you need to make two marks at one and one eight and join that mark to make this line. From the right, uh, from this side to the center, it's one and a half. From the bottom to the top, it's one and five eighths. And from the right side to the center, there are two and nine sixteenths. When you have that, you just need to remove it now we have our uh, window now I'm going to cover this and for that I choose this gorgeous paper from a uh, patterns and solids again and this measure seven and seven eighths by 
no, seven and seven eighths by nine and a half. But be careful because this is the piece. Let me explain you here. Remember, my window is, if you watch in front, it's more in the left side. So this is going to be like so also. Okay. So we need to cover this side, not this. This is the side that we are going to cover like so. Okay, this is ready, the back. Now, and the window, we don't want to lose the window because we are going to cover also this piece, but we need to remove a little bit and we will do that in a moment, okay? Let's construct now these pieces. This, of course, it doesn't fit now because we cover this with the paper. So I already made my marks and I will cut, it's about 116 in one short side and one long side. And then I will try. I have here another uh, leftover piece of the same paper, of course. And... Let's check if this fits. Yes, it's, it fits perfectly. That's enough because now we will cover that. This piece is going to be here in this way, but we cannot uh, glue or stick anything yet. But what we can do right now is to mark here on the back where I want my lights. wire with the lights is already inside uh, but uh, I made with my crocodile 20 holes and where to make the holes it depends where what uh, or which uh, side of the box you want to light up okay I want to light up more my uh, the picture of course that's why they are here in the top one two three four five six seven in the sides are three on each one and in the bottom they are one two three four five six seven okay but first i think we need to uh, uh, stick the flaps i mean we don't want to uh, tear the paper and let me tell you what i did here i just cut in a straight then this, I cut it uh, a little bit uh, down to put it in this way, you see? So we need to attach first this uh, short sides in my case because I put, and I think we can remove this. We don't need it anymore.
while I am waiting to this to be uh, hot, I realized that this hole can't be so high because then it's going to crash here and this will be like so but in the back there is not going to be way to add the picture properly so i will do another one but close to the edge because there is where i have a space and i am not to worry for this because i can cover that with a sticker a chipboard something we have enough space already yes so for now I'm going to stick this here to avoid the movement later I'm going to cover there with something okay <clears throat> now you can see we have enough room here so I'm going to start adding the lights I am just passing through the lights a little bit here and then I will use a drop of this in here now this is the last one okay I'm going to let this dry a little bit because I think it needs to dry just a little bit here that's it that's much much better you see now it's easy also to see the picture on the back now we need to do the fun part which is a uh, decorate inside and I have this uh, Christmas tree these are really really <laughs> old I am going to try to upcycle this
uh, pieces. Now this is the patterns in solid, but with the um, oh, I forgot the name. The uh, 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 well, you are watching this, and these pieces measure eight and fifteen sixteenths by a three. I think this is three the total because we added this and this is yes three so I will be adding this piece Thank you. 